Um, oh, by the way, go find a pig and start feeding him. All right. I think the main thing to me was that, like, you, you'd be familiar with kind of the, the great man model of history, right? That people, like, talk about something as being, like, this bought too heavily into the great man model of history. Well, you know what I mean with that? Uh, no. So, kind of like in the way that we were taught history in a lot of, like, things, is it really emphasizes the impact of, like, a small number of individuals. And ah. that's that's probably not a very accurate way to totally understand how events occur. And I think a good example of this would be like, you know, you can make a big deal about like in a war, the specific generals or whatnot, but kind of there's, oh, I see you got that one. Um, no, you There's did. kind of something about like what specifically like caused the war and like the effects that led up to the leaders, you know, having the public support to do it. and. You know, there are a lot of factors that, like, lead to the decisions t to go to war that aren't always just one person. I and I think kind of the thing is, sometimes it is. I think sometimes, really, there is, like, kind of a single individual that their impact does by itself, you know, really, really have that sort of large sort of effect. But it's not always the case. We don't always need to look to, to great specific individuals. And I think the ending there where they were, like, oh, we can see the recurrence of these names and, like, destiny and whatnot. It just kind of was, like, you know, I felt like this sort of, like, hero of destiny thing was, like, losing some... I, I think I losing think, some of its strength. I think it would have felt much more impactful if you'd actually played Creeper World 3. That with yeah. Without that specific context, it's just like, well, this is kind of all right. Maybe that's the case. I think maybe the other part was that it seemed to like really lionize their roles in corporations. Is it, is it like very comfortable with like kind of space exploration and like this sort of discovery thing being a largely corporate endeavor? It mostly just seemed like very contrary to Star well, Trek with it, it itself references. So uh, specifically, they kind of explained this in Creeper World 3 that over human history, multiple different types of human civilizations had, like, risen um, to deal with the creep, which is, you know, the, the true villain all along. I guess it didn't yeah. really show up in Creeper World um, or in Particle Fleet, but it was very much the, like, wow, there's an insane number of beehives down here. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, there's just like a beehive biome that's even more than where the queen bee was. That's goofy. Uh, let's see. But so... Uh, sorry, mildly mildly distracted for a second. But so, I think in that case, that was just the iteration where corporate uh, corporations were the main governing force. Okay, the, so it just kind the, of it happened to be that way. Yeah, in that specific case. Uh, so Creeper World 4 is the more, like, uh, post-human utopian society, like, beyond Star Trek levels of, like, uh, peace and prosperity, I guess. Okay, okay. And so, I see now. So part of it is, you're right, I was missing a lot of context that it felt, like, strange yeah. kind of on its own, but then with all the other yeah. things, it really... Because all, all of the games are truly standalone, but you really do kind of miss out by only playing one. They're also just very good. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it looked like a really interesting game. You know, I, I don't know if you have the energy or interest, but the thing I was curious about was whether or not you could cheese the game with the custom ship models. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I 100% bet you can. Okay. Uh, I just haven't had the time. I, yeah, I would yeah. come back to that in a heartbeat. The main problem that I ran into was that the uh, the custom ship editor uh, just made me sad. Oh, uh, it just didn't do that much or just was a It was just interface, very sl slow. So I guess I could oh. download somebody else's. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that, was, that was even something that a lot of people said while I was streaming it that like, hey, by the way, if you uh, make your own ship, like, don't make your own ship because you are going to completely break this game right from the get-go because it's just, it's not meant to handle that. Yeah, interesting. Because unlike a game like, uh, let's say Red Alert, for example, where your money is very limited on a permission basis just by how much gem field you have, 
Yeah. Creeper World doesn't have that, so if you can manage to turtle just long enough to build, like, one of the obscene ships, uh, then you can just have, say, a ship with 10,000 guns. Oh. <laughs> so it's not like Masters of Orion, where it's like, but actually... The Doomstar can only hold so many guns. <laughs> yeah, it's you're mainly just limited by how long it takes to make a thing, which isn't really a big deal if you can just ha uh, hold out until... Uh... Let's see. If you can hold out until you can make the, the real big guns, which I think would be fun in its own own right, and I, I'd be glad to play it because... I, that is one of my new favorite IPs, and I can't wait for the fourth one. And so, yeah, going back to Particle Fleet would be super worth it for me. What okay. I think I'm going to do, and what I have been kind of doing recently, is kind of as a, a means of taking some of the... Some of the pressure off of my own, uh, like, regular series channel. I don't know. I... Uh, I'm trying to return to the idea of like the the sponsored series. Mm, uh, that that yeah. is that is something that I've always wanted to work on, but I always get overwhelmed and I can't keep up with it. Because there's and a lot so, of interest that you play various games and you just like can't. Yeah. Okay. Oh right, I forgot I can rotate the camera. Oh, that's weird. Let's see. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is just include, go back, play Particle Fleet custom levels with custom ships or something like that and just have some fun with it. Because I was doing Creeper World 3 custom maps for a little while and some of them are apparently mathematically impossible, which is a little frustrating. Oh. But then why do people... But like the vast like... majority are not mathematically impossible, it's just those specific ones were. Uh, were. I see. Is it like a hold out as long as possible, or like, is this uh, was a bad game? It's, they're usually really small maps with a lot of emitters, that more or less it's just like, hey, uh, good luck surviving this, there's, you just do not have enough time and firepower to deal with the amount of creep that you're dealing with, without cheating. Yeah. I mean... But then, like, is there not a way to, like, rank them by, like, to look for custom maps specifically that are ranked highly? Uh, so, sorry. I guess I wasn't specifically doing the, uh, custom maps. I was doing the developer custom maps that weren't part of the campaign. So it'd be like if Blizzard had made a bunch of custom maps for, uh, StarCraft, but some of them <laughs> were just, like, so hard that you could never beat them. Wait, when you say mathematically impossible, you really mean, like, actually, right? Yeah. Like, there, there are some of them that this game... I mean, Creeper World 3 has been out for seven years? Six, seven years? And, like, people have been actively still trying to beat them and not... haven't succeeded. Huh. I mean, they must have just not thought very carefully. Or they've got someone on the dev team who's really good at the game. Well, it's just one dude. So, chances are he just slapped together the map and just moved on. Because there's, see. like, hundreds of these... Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Uh, I found a sign called Come to Me. Hey! So, that's a base. And specifically, you should because the dragonfly is here. Oh. I'll make a chest, I think. Okay. Didn't realize the dragonfly would be there. I thought it was summer only. No, it's, um, the antlion is summer only, because the dragonfly used to be summer only. Oh, they kinda, you they just only made have, a dragonfly. They only have one seasonal, they have only one seasonal boss for each of the seasons, so they kind of took that place, right? I am here. Ow is hot. Hello, dragonfly. Holy crap, that's a lot of HP. Are you ready? Oh, uh, are we fighting the dragonfly right now? I mean, we can. Sure, I, I guess we don't care about nighttime, do we? Oh, just flew off. 
I think he got mad. We went too far away. Oh, interesting. There he is. There it is. And the dragonfly just utterly melts under our combined <laughs> extremely powerful strength. <laughs> I don't think this is how the fight's supposed to go, right? <laughs> Something about that felt kind of odd. Well, I'm catching on, on fire, fire was a thing. So... Turns out, by the way, this bee hat, it makes me obscene. It has such a high durability. Uh, it has such, like, a crazy high durability that uh, nanites keep it alive no matter how much it get hit. Oh, that's great. Shame okay, I was... Two bees, right? <laughs> I was wrong. This guy hits hard enough that it's... Uh, that's actually a problem. Wait, really? Yeah, he takes oh, off 10% of, of my thing. durability every time. I was thinking with my with my lifesteal I'm doing alright. Yeah, I just gotta take my hat off. I guess this is probably the way that you're supposed to be able to like Okay, so we should use those scales to make uh, scaled chests. Let's see. So what do I have in my inventory that I can get rid of? Uh, green cap. Okay. <laughs> now you take the stuff I dropped on the ground. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just hand, hand to tooth and some other stuff here. I've got enough pig skin. Did you... Where's the sign for dragonfly? There we go. Let's go back home for a bit and make some dragon chests. Yep, the, the sign's right over to the left here. Oh, did we never... We never actually made one for the house. But what are you doing down there? There's a sign. Oh, there's a sign right here. Well... <laughs> Where the hell am I? Why is there a sign in... Oh, I made... Oh. I'm going to destroy this sign. There we go. That's why I'm super lost. It's because I rotated the camera once to fight some pigmen. Oh. Let's see. When are we doing Spirit Fair? Probably late. It's a lovely game. Yeah, I put both those signs down. That's totally my bad. <laughs> I mean, no way of immediately knowing that that one was there. It's not survival, it's a structure. Structure is scaled chest. We need four wood. Uh, the rewards, how much do I got? Ten? Abilities. Chainsaw. Big town, spawn portal. At time. Trek town. Burn town. Ooh. Oh, is that is that an achievement? Yep. I should probably have that, right? You got to be getting close if you're if you don't have it already. We just got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Chainsaw. Do I want to mine stuff instantly? Uh, that one doesn't instantly? work with our mod combo. Oh, mine stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Double from harvesting. Might be worth it. More light radius. Critical hit chance. Ooh, that's tempting. Kind of do enough damage, though. I'm going to go with cheat death every 15 minutes. I just don't know if we need that anymore. Yeah, I just don't need any of these things. <laughs> just high crit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder if you can go past 100% crit. Can you red crit in this game? I don't think I have as many achievement points as you. Chop the tree, you nut. <laughs> Wait, what? Why can't I... It says, oh. 
weird. You wanna come back? I'm having some problems. I'm sitting in Burn Town. What do you need? I can't cut down a tree. Oh. Do you need wood? What's happening? No, like it, it straight up won't let me. I can examine it. I will like give it a firm ogle. Maybe, maybe the, no. The you can knock it down achievement shouldn't cause this problem. Okay, well, I'm ready to knock down some trees if you need me to. Because, yeah, it's it's one of the poison beech nut trees, so... Oh, and that's why you need me to specifically knock it down? Yeah, because I, I should be able to arm it, but... No, it's the same thing for me. Weird. They go away eventually, so... Alternatively, if you want to grab a a torch, you can just burn it. Oh. You might be able to. The inventory is so full. I should have made the pig backpack before this. I just wanted to get the scaled chest down. <laughs> you can do it. Did you burn it? Yeah. I started Holy. a raging fire, too. Uh, that's a bit of a concern, seeing as this is really ne near to our base. Uh, it's mostly destroying all the stumps, I think. Okay. Getting good at learning where precisely the animation cancel is for the, uh... <laughs> digging up a stump. Okay, well, now we have decent chunk of... resources. uh-oh. What? Oh, I see. Did you go crazy? Oh, I do you not see the amount of trees that I destroyed. Oh, no wonder. No threat to you, I see. My sanity is doing pretty good thanks to this top hat. Okay, so you said I should do something with the scales, right? Yeah, so oh, we yeah. can make can chests. Like a scaled chest? Okay, okay. Let's see. And making those, uh, those are fire fireproof, and I think they might be bigger. But they are still just the, uh, the Yeah, same it's just thing. wood, rope, and, and scales, and you're all good. Scale chest and ten gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's not a problem. That's not a problem, but... <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Just Sound. all this wood that I got. Okay, there we go. One of these has the living wood in it. Yes, it holds a whole three more. <laughs> well, that's going to be the gem chest anyways. Pretty decent. Uh, let's see. How many scales do you have? Just one. Oh, do you only have one? All right. Uh, let's see. Why were we supposed to do something else with it? <laughs> well, I was hoping we'd get more than that. Was there some Cause... other use? Uh, no, but it'd be nice to have a bunch of fireproof chests in the base. I, I was thinking it seemed kind of excessive for just one chest. <laughs> well, we... So I ha I have one more myself. 
but... Ah, uh, okay. Well, time to move all the important stuff over to it, right? Why did you put it here, of all places? Because I'm a bad person. I don't know, I was off to the side a little bit. Put all the valuable stuff in there. Yeah, that feels good. Okay. Yeah, the valuables and the rare stuff. The things that would be really inconvenient to lose. Let's see. You know what specifically is that? Like this mandrakes? Those are probably uh, count, right? Mandrakes, yeah, probably. There's only two to five per world, so. Where did all of our spider web go, by the way? Because shouldn't we have, like, a truly obscene amount of spiderweb hanging out somewhere? Yeah, I had a truly obscene amount of spiderweb, and I put it in a chest somewhere. I'm a great friend. I'm <laughs> good at cooperating it, with people. <laughs> there, There is the possibility that it got burned? No, there's a 100% chance that I know where it is, and it's just like... Is it up at Burntown, or is it very it's far away? It's either at Burntown or Dragonfly, so... We know where it is, and we know how to get there. We just need to... Let me go check it out. Let's see. So what's the advantage of scaled chests? Scaled chests do not burn. So during the summertime, we don't have to worry about uh, losing everything. We can also get, like, scaled flooring, which makes it even better. Oh. Froggy Bunwitch, that's a new one. Play Spirit Fair to uh Spirit Fair again tonight. It will be tonight. So after our shenanigans, I am now a solid level 93. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming you're near hundred. <laughs> yeah, here's all the spider webs. Hey. Driving gloves. Uh, give me Burn Town. Burn Town. All right. I mean, it is just kind of meaningless at this point. I'm now going to start investing in size. <laughs> <laughs> this, what those was... are achievement points. <laughs> I mean, I can respec freely whenever I want. Yeah, There's... yeah. What what does the size do? If five percent larger. Does that give you more reach? I don't know. I don't know why it's a leveling option. I mean, there's always some reason, right? I'm just going to see if I can get up to, like, level stupid. You got to be the growthiest, right? Yeah, I got to be I, I gotta be big. Bellsprout used growth incessantly. <laughs> Made Shell cry. <laughs> I, I suspect most people here watching this might have seen that scene just because that was, that was the headliner Maybe. on your channel for a while. Okay, do you got the uh, spider webs? Where'd you put them? I put them in the second to top. Yeah, this chest. Do you think they go in the scale chest? Yeah, I'm putting them in this one over here. It's probably actually need it for a bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I could be eating. I just said your highness. Wait, what was that? Yeah, it's it's because I've I've got the crown on. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, so when you're not doing anything, your character will bow to me and call call me your highness. I wonder if he's doing it ironically. That's mean. I don't know. Probably not. Oh. What? Let me tell you. 
Sweet brother. Build a piggyback. It's just so much more space. It's like double. Okay. Did you uh, take all the pig skins? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I will I will give them to you. But we should probably we should probably leave. Okay, I'm gonna put the spider webs over here. Um what do you mean leave? It's dogs. Oh, everything's about to light on fire. Yeah, it's about to become dog time. Run! Get out of there! Okay. Yep. Are they all chasing you? I'm just gonna stand in the middle of this clearing. <laughs> and I'm not gonna kite at all because. Burning tickles. Cool. Mm, fire. Delicious fire. Kind of a nice source of red gems. We don't need yeah. all this ash for anything, right? I don't think so. I haven't really found a functional use for it. All right, so you picked up the spider webs. Do you still okay, got those? Okay, so well in done? reality, it's not double. It's an extra four slots, but eh, an extra four deal. slots is still That's nice. Worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. Um, can I get that spider web though? Uh, they're in the scaled chest on the right. Survival. Let's see. Yeah, I threw them in there before everything started burning because I figured <laughs> just in case. I guess once the stack gets big enough, you want it, right? Piggyback. Oh, it does slow you down, though. I see. Uh, It's supposed to. I don't know if it does. Yeah, uh, so I, I made it uh, I made it specifically so that it wouldn't. So you cool. do not need to worry about that. Let's see. In this backpack that I had before, yeah, it just carries all this stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gems like, going here. Dump it on the ground. <laughs> Is it ridiculous that I carry gold around as a crafting item? No, I, I carry I carry a bunch of gold with me. I guess there are just enough times that I need the gold. Yeah, so I, I carry gold, rock... Flint, sticks, niter, wood, grass, and uh, manure. Manure? For what? Oh, for yourself. Because that's uh, just your thing, right? Kind of mainly just occasional healing. I'm also just picking it up as I go by. Yeah. I probably don't need to, in retrospect. You know, I thought deer clops was supposed to be spawning over the course of whenever. Winter. We're still in fall. Yeah, people said it would just start spawning on the regular. But oh. I guess I huh. misunderstood them. Or they I were wrong. I think it's a seasonal boss. I don't think that changes. Okay. All right. You, I see, are already ahead of me. the sinkhole. So what do we... Uh, do you know what's actually, like, down below? Ooh, I know there are bosses. That we need to care about? Okay. That's Thank really you. all that matters. There's some, like, area that's, like, got a bunch of weird other stuff. Like... I don't know what that is, though. Like, where we get the, um, light. Is that down here? I have no idea. I think I'm actually going to very quickly respec. Get that extra light radius? Yeah, I already had a couple. But uh, I had chainsaw as well, which I don't think I need. I'm just trying to decide what else I want to <laughs> grab. There we go. 
Now the whole screen will just be forever lit. How okay, many not did quite. You get? I got five. Cool. I, yeah, I'm probably worth I'm well more. lit. It's not quite as much as I want, but I'm well lit. Match me, jerks. Yeah, the bunny men will probably be hostile against you because you're running around with the hand bat. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I just you know. In case you cared about them at all. Uh, if they're <laughs> we, I am, I have, I have gone full murder hobo at this point. Like there is, <laughs> there's not a whole lot stopping me in that that general regard. If I'm given cause to respect life and care here, I I will gladly do so. But as it stands. Everything is a resource for me to abuse for my own benefit. I'm pretty sure the bunnies are made of meat, right? <laughs> yes. Meat, hair, maybe some carrots. <laughs> yeah, depending on your sanity. Um, did you ever watch The Expanse or read any of those books? Yeah, so I, I, we read and watched up to the one where they're in the alien portal chamber for like the entirety of the season slash book. And yeah. then I stopped, uh, and then we actually unsubscribed from Amazon Prime because we really just weren't using it. Yeah. Why? Just the... Oh, that mentality? Just like, Amos is kind of a murder hobo in it. Kind of. The interesting thing is, he is absolutely also the only character shell and i like yeah <laughs> but like well, okay so, so here's the reason amos came up specifically is because i had mentioned the expanse and my girlfriend said i wonder if there's fan fiction on the expanse and looked up and it was like specifically like a lot of fan fiction is about romances with characters do you want to take a wild stab at like which were the most popular romances to write about uh i don't want to. I thought you were going to ask me. Uh, you were going to tell me about how there are a, a number of fan fictions of Amos just soloing the rest of the Expanse universe. Oh, that would be funny. No, there were a lot of fan fictions about Amos in specifically homosexual relationships with every male character. <laughs> That's. You know what? I am not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I knew I knew it was gonna be Amos and dudes, but I couldn't specifically <laughs> think of which one would somehow rise to prominence over any of the rest. Yeah, and that t to be fair, it's he's got a lot of them. <laughs> Most of them just involved him. Te technically, there were a lot of fan fictions that were qualified as being um, Naomi and Holden, but probably just incidentally because they're just the canonical couple, and that just didn't get rewritten in the fan fiction. Okay. Oh. So it's bad kind of news a... about the bunny men. They don't drop anything interesting. Oh. I found cave spiders. That's new. Oh no, okay, they drop they drop tails. Okay, this is a plus. They drop <laughs> tails and they drop carrots. And they drop meat. Okay. Alright. Glad they dropped meat. Where you just got a few and there was just nothing you really got? Uh, well, I guess I couldn't see the carrots through the cloud of bunny men. There, oh, <laughs> I see. There's, um, there's a boss that I think is spawned by a mushroom. There's, like, some frog, frog boss. Okay. I'll be along in a bit. I'm just gathering everything. I also found, oh, I, like, I a haven't giant found it. I was, tentacle. What I wanted to indicate was you should look out for it. Um, although I, I guess I don't I admit I don't know exactly what it looks like or how we activate it. So we'd have to look that up. Oh. I'm a little leery of alt tabbing out of the game after it crashed last time. So I found a giant tentacle. Okay. And when I hit it, it spawned a bunch of mini tentacles, which I'm now murdering. Oh, I think that's a thing. I can come your way. I got it. It's dead. Oh, you already killed the giant tentacle? Jump in big slimy pit. You wanna come here? This sounds this sounds about right. Okay.
I had some volunteers. I'm almost there. Should probably brought resources down so I can make a uh, crock pot down here, but whatever. Yeah, what would we need? Wow. You have already explored a considerable amount of this place. Yeah, I, I wasn't really stopping to gather that much, though. There's no particular reason to fight the bunny men, right? Like, you didn't... Uh, not overwhelmingly. I mean, I got a whole bunch of carrots. Good, good. All right. Woo. Cool. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. Oh. Did I? Oh, it just teleported us. Okay. Well, we're here now. I thought this would be like a boss area. I was hoping. Yeah. But, you know, we can cover more area this way. So. Buddy man. Bam. Oh, I can Pretty almost one shot huge, them. Actually. What was that? It's a big area. Wow. Dang. What? I guess I'll find the pathway back. You were just you were just realizing how big it was when you zoomed yeah, I just, out. I looked at how stupid large this zone is, and it's just like, oh. This ain't uh small. What the hell are you? What is this? It's a gooey shell beast. Oh, I think there's some shell armor you can get from something. So Shirtle. That sounds it's right. It's a shirtle. I think that's I think that's got a drop that you kinda want. Well, I'm just gonna dunk it to death. <laughs> ah, the meat. Why is it such a lethal weapon? Who knows? Oh, I gotta shell it. <laughs> it's not actually useful for me. Because the bee queen thing? Yeah, the bee queen thing is just stupid good in comparison. I don't have something like that. Ooh. Yeah, if you want a shelmet, you can have it. Where are you? Whoa! First, more important has just been the top hat, I think. What'd you find? Uh, I found... I'm pretty sure it's quite literally a rock lobster. You wanna when you get the chance, come up here and just uh help me beat these things to death. <laughs> hey! Wow. Dodged all attacks and did nine thousand damage. Dodge Master! <laughs> How? <laughs> How did you you just dealt that much damage? Is that how it went down? <laughs> you really should come up here, it's super easy. Okay, I was just killing. I think I found one of the shelmet things or whatnot. Okay. Dodge master. <laughs> There's a bunch of slurtles. Oh, slime and here's shells. one. Uh, kill ten slurtles is a oh. chivo. That was actively what I was doing. Are there a lot of these guys? Oh, well, Wait, you just how got did it. I deal that much damage and not take... Wait, that's bugged. Yeah, it probably is. Because I, I just, I was just taking damage right before this happened. So, I, it must be some kind of ridiculous thing. Anyway, you can just wail on these guys while they're locked in like that. And, uh, they'll never do anything. As it takes forever. Damage, though. Yeah, you'll get there. Here. Can I, can we wake them up? I did no, a lot no, no. of damage. Uh, they wake up if you walk away from them, and you can do a ton of damage. So my recommendation is just walk from one to the next, just slapping them. Uh, but don't let them recover too much. But you already got the Dodge Master achievement, and I don't know if they drop anything useful. Man, we are just racking up the Chivos. I think you're racking them up, really. I am a wizard. Actually, this becomes vaguely unmanageable after not that much time. 
Man, I wish I had like a damage aura or like an AoE attack. I would be ridiculous in that case. Let's see, so we're looking for a mushroom biome down here? Because, yeah, at this point I am super aimlessly wandering. Probably maybe consider investing in speed again. I'm at... how much? I'm at 340% attack speed, or attack speed, attack damage. This is way too many spiders. Excuse me. Oh, the cave spiders? Please stop. No, these aren't cave spiders. These are just regular spiders. They're just... That stunlock is mean. And, like, I can deal with them. It just takes a while. They appear to drop rocks okay. and flint. Yeah. And meat. They didn't seem particularly worth going after. Not in the same yeah. way that... Not in the same way that everything else is. <laughs> well, They hit yeah. real hard, too. Yeah, sorry. I, I have 98% uh, defense, so them hitting hard is... Yeah, with my 95%, turns out, not quite enough. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, there's a whole there. bunch of spiders up here that I'm just abusing. Good, good. Gotta rack up those levels. What level are you? 111. <sighs> you trying to catch up? Keep thinking you're not, almost there. Not overwhelmingly. Not honestly. Like, I'm, I'm kind of getting there, but it's... Not really going too quick. I'd, I'd have to go after uh, the tree dudes to really catch up. Yeah, I think just in general. I think I might have gotten some points from those rock lobster guys. I don't think they're very fast experienced, though. No. They're not but very fun at EXP. That's the, no. that's the real thing. That's a good point. You can't... Like, kiting them was a matter of mostly well no matter what I will have a ton of monster meat by the time we finally reach the surface again what the heck I got cold yeah that just happened to me too I'm to start investing points into cold insulation I guess is it winter is that what's happening no it's still autumn but it might be getting we might be reaching 